I still consider this to be a work in progress, but I wanted to make this uh, rig available to you so that you can see where I'm currently at with uh, my explorations of visibility switches and transposer based rig architecture. Have a look, play with my findings and then keep going. On stage we have two containers, this on the left one is more for fun, just demonstrating a 360 degree turn and this on the right is the actual animation symbol. So let's look at uh, this 360 degree turn first and the switches. It is set up so that all the limbs have been duplicated. So we have uh, a set of duplicates for the arms and the legs where they are on top of the head, uh, neck, pelvis and torso layers and then another set that's uh, behind. These are all hard welded to the original ones which are behind and they're switchable via the visibility switches. This one works only on this half which will make uh, all of these visible like, like that. And then this one works on all of them so they can appear to be behind these are switched off or in front when they're switched on and with a switching one half off we can alternate between the two which allows us to turn the character and when, once the character is turned with a press of a switch it seems as if they're just uh, switching order so within the torso symbol we have a full 48 frame 360 degree turn around with uh, animated magnet targets. You can see that these used to be shape twins, but I have converted them to frame by frame animation. Still left the shape twinning on because if you create a duplicate, you can retime if you need to match and perfectly some external animated sections. I'll, I'll show you that a little later. The same thing applies to the pelvis. I've even, just, just for the fun of it, did this uh, with the foot symbol. This is just for the demo. It's uh, not practical to have that many feet. And the head here, this is the ref symbol actually. It uh, also has a full turnaround. Now ignore this last frame because we have a frame range here. So 48 is the last one that we'll see. So literally we can do a full turnaround of this character and then switch the position of the limbs. We can go to a full back view and keep, keep going. Now we need to switch the limbs again and keep going and keep going and then switch the limbs again. Now there's another switch which is arms only. So if we would like to have a twist in the upper torso, we can switch the arms only to appear natural. So the pelvis faces to the right and the upper torso faces to the left. And of course, this is a full turnaround so we can, we can turn this head the way we want. So pretty much this is all about uh, this. I thought it's uh, fun to do and it's kind of spectacular one day when I record a proper presentation of this rig. Just a little addition, I forgot uh, to say a couple of words about uh, these blue hand switches. So uh, the idea for the blue hand switches is that uh, they control only the hand and the lower arm and this will allow for the hand and the lower arm to reach over uh, the torso or the face like like this behind in front in front behind this this is all about these extra uh, switches they just add one uh, more layer of uh, flexibility. 
So let's look into this one, which is the actual the real animation timeline. The switches are the same. This is the half switch. This one turns the torso and this one is um, the alternating switch. Now I have excluded the head from transposing, but we can choose a pose and start uh, transposing. Basically, uh, a ref symbol contains all our views. So to start an animation, you just choose one view and then progress through your timeline doing your poses. The head internally, this is uh, set to play once, and internally it should be transposable as well. These are just little experiments here that I've done. But what you can do is you can animate the eyes using the smart graphic control panel and you can do some uh, lip sync using these mouth presets. You can transpose any angle and these will work with any of these angles. You can control the antennae with a slider and there are a bunch of switches which I will go into in a moment. So the idea is that this is a synced timeline so if you need to do turns and facial animation you do them here. One thing to note is that if we would like to transpose the head angles without uh, forcing the first frame of the, the eyes and the mouth during transpose operation we need to exclude them so let's let's do just that choose the mouth and the eye layers and give them a no sync suffix now if i transpose the eyes and the mouth won't change and of course i can tween between these but i'll, I'll leave that for a little later okay so let's go back to the torso and look uh, what we can do here. So imagine that we would like to do like an upper torso turn, just another another pose. And with Kineflex Scrub, we go to something like this. Let's see what frame that is, 20, 22. Let's go to 20. So from here to here, over that many frames. Now, obviously we can set this one to play once and if it's set to play once it will probably go further than the the desired frame because we don't have enough frames inside for that uh, kind of animation so what what shall we do let, let me just change the pose a little a little more let's just give him a Okay, so th there's just a little change in the pose. We'll deal with the with the head a little later, but let's let's see what we should do with the torso so that we have the exact matching number of frames for the upper torso to get to this frame, which we said was uh, frame 20. So this one is frame 17. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, between 17 and 20. So what can we do? We can create a copy, a duplicate, and then go inside. Okay, so this is a, this is a keyframe, that's good. And then the other keyframe that we need is this frame 20, so I'll just make it a, a keyframe. And then we'll need to add a bunch of a bunch of frames between these. Just go add two like like that. And now when it's set to play once, ideally 
will land on frame 20 over the exact number of frames there's only a little a little broken line here which uh, we should be able to address very easily with a shape hint as long as we can identify which one it is so let's uh i'll just give it a give it a shape hint okay now it's now it's fine okay so we did we did this uh smooth turn over the exact number of frames that we wanted to do it i don't know where we'll we'll change the the hand position maybe maybe here let's uh let's change it let's change it here like that and we can turn the face over the course of that many frames to some other position so go inside create the keyframe here and then uh, let's transpose a three quarter view for the head we can do a tween and if we don't want to go that much uh, in in this direction we can stop it here now look at uh, look at uh, the ears we need to switch the ears so i'll switch this one and press the alternate switch and now we got this kind of turn if we'd like to to stop here we can stop on that frame or we can keep going if we if we wanted to actually maybe maybe we want to keep going a little further let's add another keyframe and more tween and then do something like this and end it here okay so this is my end position okay so this is a, a little animation with a smooth turn in the torso if we would like to retime it now since the torso is a duplicate we can actually retime inside so say we'd like to add two more frames to this so that it's slower i won't touch this one but here we can go inside and add two more frames like that and uh, still everything will work and I'll, I'll need to do that for the head as well add two more frames and resync the head layer so um, I hope this all makes sense now let's look into the head container to show you a few more things so let's say we want to do a turn that starts from the profile view and goes backward if we want to go from a profile to a front we need to go through all the keys in between so you can not just click on the profile and then the front and uh, a twin between these because uh, these other thumbnails define important key information so we need to go from the profile to this uh, in between view and then the three quarter and then the front and then things will twin properly because there is important information there so with this in mind let me get rid of these uh, keyframes and the twins and uh, do a complete turn to show you how the switches work so we'll go through all of these
and this is the profile again now from profile to profile and now when we start scrubbing we'll see some places where we need to do some switching so I'll see the his left eye it pops here into this position so we need to click on the left eye switch to make it active for this tween span and now the eye is fine now from this point onward there's a problem with the ears and we need to switch the ears by clicking on the ear switch so that they swap layer order and we keep going that way and from this point onward his right eye needs to go behind the face see how it's uh, here it's on top of the facial oval so uh, in this keyframe switch the right eye and now it's uh, going behind the face this uh, headband here behind the ears pops into this frame so here we need to switch it on so that it smoothly enters the scene and the same thing now happens with the left eye we need to switch the left eye to go behind and now we need to switch the ears again in this keyframe switch and switch the left eye he's now his right eye that's his right eye okay so now we have the turnaround of the head done perfectly in the opposite direction this is about transposing the head when you go from one view to the next you need to go through all the in-between keys which define the position of the elements otherwise elements uh, won't be able to switch properly their layer order and if you need to do some uh, other facial animation like lip sync and stuff you can do it via via the panel this is pretty much it I know it's still early days of explorations of all these new tools but it seems to me that uh, there is a lot of potential for uh, improvement of general rig architecture so i hope that this has been useful thanks for watching